the day that I had my son was the day when I realized I'm sowing into the future. It's like you, your brain just wakes up. All of a sudden, everything's dangerous. <laughs> but you, you now realize he's either going to be a leader or a follower. There's nothing in between. And you're going to have to choose for him. He's, you're either going to raise, raise him to lead other people into, into truth or he's just going to follow whatever he believes to be. He believes the truth. And there's no passivity there. Like you can't, it's not a passive activity. So how do you do that uh, for your son? Like he's six now. So I've recently, he started talking to me about ghosts. And I was trying to figure out where did he come up on that topic? Because he's in a very extremely conservative little um clitor school you know it's a an old school nursery school where there's no organic food and stuff there it was just like the way that we had it and I, I chose it like that on purpose you know they they play the whole day it's an amazing little school but I know that it didn't happen there so it happened in my house um, so I realized that even the little stories that I allow him to watch, there's still some stuff in there. And although I can't go and sit and watch every little thing with him, because I mean, I'm also around the house. I have a little 18, 18 month old. Um, so I'm, I'm distracted and doing other stuff. So like even in my house, what he sees, um, but just to be on it immediately. Like if I hear it coming out of his mouth, like maybe I, I'm a little bit too much, but I have to find exactly where that came from and to make sure that I that I can eliminate and steer and steer him away. How do you do that? Do you ask him questions or what's your sort of approach? Yeah, it's a difficult one because my son um, he has apraxia, and so he has a, a speech delay. So. A, Apraxia kids, there's also a different, another word, oh, I can't remember now exactly what it was, but he received a, a diagnosis with a, another name, which may, basically means that their language builds in, in blocks, not in words, but in full sentences and, and thoughts. So he speaks a lot in what he sees on the television. That builds his language. Um, so he, to understand exactly where something come from, comes from takes a lot of sifting information and trying to find something. Um, so it's, it's a massive challenge, you know, his, his speech. Um, but just keeping a, an extremely close relationship with him, you know. So like... Um, Never punishing him for something that he comes to tell me is one, one, one approach. You know, I'm always available. He can say whatever he wants to me. Obviously, you know, he has come, come home with some swear words from school with other, other friends. But, but, even in, but even in that, you know, um, correcting him, trying to help him understand what's right and wrong and what's acceptable in our house. And this is still a learning journey for me. I know that the place where I want to be is to never have anything sever my relationship with my son, to never have anything come in between. Um, and at the moment, the, I think the thing that breaks relationships um, the quickest, I thought my, my pregnancy with my, with my baby girl was really hard. It was a very difficult pregnancy and I had undiagnosed postpartum depression while I was pregnant. And a lot of people don't know that you can actually have that. I has happened to come across um, a preacher talking about it on, on Instagram, uh, a female preacher, and she was talking about her own experience with it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just, I can relate, but it makes your fuse extremely short. 
So having a short fuse and being busy with stuff around the house and especially a person like me who might be very particular about the way that I want things. I like a clean house. I I like, you know, dinner to be on time. I like bedtimes to be on time. I like things to be like this. Um, The kid can fall through that crack. It makes a, a crack very quickly. And I've had to apologize to him a lot but to learn how to self-correct so that I can mend my relationship with him very quickly and Sham they're so sweet when it comes to when it comes to that because their desire is always to 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 please you like a flip I just I can't stand it when people when grown-ups hurt kids because they always just want to please yeah you, you've probably seen with your little girl as well you know they always want want to please Baba and they always want to want to do what makes you happy so to have a short fuse with them or to be harsh with them um especially with ideas that you don't agree with and it doesn't matter what age they are you know I mean you like I just think about American politics how many families have shattered because of the the president that you support right Stupid. Like eh? people just, yeah, people allow that to create short fuses in their relationships with their with their children and with their with their family, and they 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 sever those very delicate relationship relational bands with their with their kids. But I'm not willing to do that. So the plan is to work on myself <laughs> so that I can parent him well, and to decide on what the boundaries are for our household and to firstly model to him how we don't cross those boundaries and what you do when somebody crosses those boundaries because somebody will 